Welcome back, boyos. This is Box. Uh, this is the Clan League Wars edition with the Daily Hustlers. Uh, this first attack is by Bubsack. Uh, he did a basic witch slap. Uh, was was very impressive with this attack as he does not have a Barb King. Is currently being under construction or leveling up, however you want to look at it. Uh, so let me just kind of break down the Clan Lo or Clan League war set up so basically it's seven days and in this one we have 15 members but we actually have 25 but we can pick 15 per day so seven days at 15 attacks which tells you how many attacks i have to go through so what i'm going to currently do is i'm going to pick you know six or seven of my clan mates attacks that i like or thought were nice or well executed like this one and show them to you guys and then i'm gonna come out with another video of just my attacks only and uh, we'll see how that works out i don't know maybe i'll change it up later or just keep killing myself with doing two videos during a clan league war huh we'll see what happens so at this point bub's pretty much halfway through the base here it's working out nicely still got the witches on the outside cleaning it up we still got the archer queen in the middle doing her job uh, i don't think bub has his army camps fully upgraded at town hall 10 you're supposed to have 240 troops when they're completely upgraded and i believe he doesn't have i'm not 100 percent sure on that i might have to ask him after this but if he does i will update it on the screen somewhere over around in this area yeah i know you can't see where i'm pointing but it'll pop up and say yes or no he he does or he doesn't mm. besides that i think i'm gonna let this one kind of ride out and uh we'll uh, pop back in at the next attack and see how it goes enjoy As Bub's about to get this three star here, I also want to point out this was a pretty big attack in this war. Or day one. I believe it was day one. It was a pretty big attack. Uh, we needed the stars. We were down quite a few, but he, he, he brought us back. So here we go. Blazing Gemini. He is the leader of our clan. He is a Town Hall 12. Obviously, as you can see, he's facing more difficult bases than the norm look at those bowlers out there gotta get those guys in there I really need to ask blaze what the name of this attack is I have no idea look how crazy it is I don't even understand how he knows what's going on in the middle of that I would just be up this hero time this up this one but like everything the more you do it the more practice you get the better you get at it it's just crazy now that the the town hall actually can attack you look at that it's like a, a fifth tesla up there man it's just snapping away i wonder if it does more damage on pikas funny fact uh teslas do more damage on pikas which uh is a good thing to know so if you ever attack a base definitely stay away from the tesla side with your pikas uh, those things i believe do 25 percent more damage to your pikas but you know like i said i've been gone so they may have changed it but back when i played that was that was kind of the rule thing there blaze pretty much got this base three starred uh, i'm just gonna let it ride out until the next one enjoy So up next for the Daily Hustlers, we have Jeff the Killer. He is back in the clan. Apparently he went away for a while. 
helped out some friends or something. Uh, so on this attack, we have him dropping the blimp wrecker, whatever the hell they want to call it. Then we drop a whole bunch of bowlers down there. You know, they got to throw them bows. So this is just another variation of a witch slap, uh, just with a lot more bowlers and a lot more witches, it looks like. All in all, witch slap is probably the best attack for a Town Hall 10 player. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty dominant. Uh, myself, Bubsack, and Jeff, and a, a few other people use it, like AK, but he's a Town Hall 9, but he uses it down there, and and a few people in the clan are learning how to use it. It's a it's a it's an easy attack, but eventually you got to just master it. It just takes time, and you got to kind of find your groove, what what combo you like. I personally like less bowlers and more wizards. Some people don't even take wizards, so you know personal preference. Uh, all in all, as you can see, Jeff's pretty much what 60% done with this base. Great use of a free spell right there. Oh man, that jump spell over there to the left looked like it just missed where he wanted it to go. It happens. Sometimes your finger hits the the sensitive glass and it drops on accident further up than you want it to. I've been there. I understand, Jeff. It's okay. Shit happens. But you still got it anyways. Um, so I'm going to let you guys kind of ride out with Jeff's attack here. Uh, it's going smoothly. He's going to three-star it. So enjoy. Jeff pretty much clucked that up. So we're moving on over to U Clan Warrior from the Daily Hustlers. Uh, I picked this one because he does a queen walk and he uses Valkyries. Uh, I haven't really talked about Valkyries very often on here. Uh, a lot of people don't use them anymore. Back when I was a Town Hall 9, the Valkyrie tack was my go to. Uh, I love the Valkyrie tack, especially at Town Hall 9. It is a shredder. By that I mean you get those Valkyries in there and they just just rip the base apart. Yeah, he does it pretty well here. You'll see what I mean here when he gets those Valks going. He's currently doing his Queen Walk. She's going to clean up the north side of the base. Now he's dropping his Giants down to basically take the heat for his little crew that's going to clean up the right side of the base. So what he's doing is he's cleaning the top part of the base away so the Valk can go straight down the middle, which... What you're going to want to do is drop one Valk, and if it's going down the middle, then you're going to drop all of them. U Clan does it very perfectly. You'll see here in a second. So, pretty much that basically. See how he dropped the first Valk, and now a horde of Valks, and he drops his Barb King behind it. I believe that's a bowl or two, but that was just one extra thing in the back. But look at those Valkyries. Look at that. Just look at that. Boom. Just clean. Look at this. It's, the base is just disappearing in the middle, especially with that Rage Spell. They just. Look at that. Gone. What happened to the middle of his base? Absolutely gone. Nice use of a free spell. But those Valkyries just, just shred this base so easily. This was a great attack by U Clan. Definitely, definitely, buddy, stick with this attack. It's a, it's a, it's a money one for Town Hall 9. Um, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of the attack. And then I'll pop all them back in at the next one. I don't even know where we at. The fourth attack now, so... Maybe two, three more. Maybe. We'll see. I'm not trying to make the video too long. I still got to do the other video of just my attack. So, enjoy, you guys. You clan, you definitely clucked that base with those Valkyries, man. Good job. All right, here we go. AK-47 with his Town Hall 9 version of the witch slap we're going to drop our archers on the corners here to take care of those builders huts and then what he's going to do is he's going to spread out his golems the three golems he has to take all the heat so there's going to be absolutely no heat when he drops his lit witches down the whole line of witches and then once his witches are down and they release their skeletons he's going to drop his whole line of wizards well executed i personally would have let the golems get in a little deeper but hey he three started so there's nothing wrong with his attack so that's how you do it, 47. Way to 
way to way to master this one i've noticed you've done it a few times i believe in my last video i i posted this attack from you too and you're just getting better and better at it man so keep up at it here comes in bowlers all right let's see how this goes okay clan castle came out dropped the poison on it got an electro dragon in there uh, the thing that sucks about the Electro Dragons is once you kill it, they do a lightning, which basically is like a thunderbolt comes down. You'll see them here. Do it here in a second. There it goes. See, that, that sucks sometimes. It takes out your wizards. I mean, shoot, he's already 70% through this base. I'm going to let you guys enjoy watching this one. I'll, I'll pop in on the next one. And next up we have the alchemist um, you know personally I don't like dragon attacks but you know who doesn't enjoy watching a dragon attack every once in a while so with the said alchemist here with his dragon attack let's check it out It looks like we dropped a clan castle with a peek in it to pull out the other person's clan castle. Dropped a poison spell and the other dragons will definitely take care of that. Boom, clan castle gone. Um, it's not the fact that I hate dra uh, dragon attacks, it's the fact that you have to do so many at a certain town hall. Once you get past it, you kind of just don't want to ever see them again. Nothing against them, nothing wrong with them. I mean, they're very effective. Especially here with uh, Alchemist being a Town Hall 8, he's going against a Town Hall 9. And as you can see, he's pretty much halfway through his base and he's going to 3 star it. Hey, if it works, do it. So now it's pretty much the race to get all the buildings cleared out. This is where some people save a couple extra like archers or something like that depending. I do the same style as Alchemist. I just go all, all dragons. They'll get to it. If not, you know, hey, live and die by the dragon, right? Alright, I'll let you guys enjoy. We'll roll out to the next one after this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Tech has finally made a video. Everybody give up for him. Here we go, Tech. Like I said, Tech finally made a video. He's been waiting. I know he has. Fortunately for him, I had to attack his base, and he got to attack my base I was supposed to attack, but preferably I would rather attack the one he was attacking anyways. If you didn't see the one I attacked, it's in my other video. Well, Tech, he comes in with his version of a witch slap. Uh, you know, he drops his wall breaker machine right there, taking care of that fun dragon there. We set him down. Just realized his witch slap has bowlers in it. There they go, and then some pikas. Um, I've been noticing uh, the pika one. I might, uh, I might actually give this one a shot. Seems like it's kind of overpowered. Actually, I might give it a shot. I kind of like it. Maybe less bowlers, but uh, we'll see. Like I said, I like having wizards in mind, and uh, there's all different versions of it. Either way, Tech, congratulations for finally making it in a video. I know you probably wish it was a harder base than this one, but I had to get you in here eventually, man. Had to, had to get you three-star and something, man. 
All right, you guys. Well, I have one more attack after this, and pretty much the Clang War Games is over. Um, I'll give you more talk when we get over to the next attack. Enjoy this one. And for the last attack for the Clan War Games, we have Cop Killer Kimbo, my man. He, uh, he usually makes my videos most of the time. He has a pretty nasty witch slap. Um, I personally like this attack he did here. Uh, it wasn't because it was one of the last ones. It's, it's just the fact that he uses his witches to take the hits. And by that, I mean he drops his skeletons. And as you can see, that wall breaking machine is getting deep. Uh, it's getting up there pretty good as you see the witches are taking all the damage that that thing's not getting hit at all except for that electro dragon so he has to rage it up now this wall breaker machine it, it, it's it's looking like a like the old legendary kimbo slice you know back when he used to get all pumped up and let dudes sock him up um look how deep it's getting he's already went through three walls it does remind me of Kimbo. I know uh, I know Cop is a big fan of him. Actually, let's check this out. Ooh, he just dropped him. All right, well, yeah, that wall breaking machine reminded me of that. Taking all those hits going up the middle. He just popped open, went through one, two, three, four walls. And pretty much 60% of that base is done. And his wall breaking machine just popped. And now that golem's up there taking all the hits so these witches are just standing there taking out the base easily all in all man you you, you own this base this was a great attack man uh looking forward to more attacks with these guys and uh for clan games or sorry clan league war it's over we did our thing we went four wins three losses probably wish for a better outcome but hey you can't hate on that so pretty much the clan league war is over we went four and three, came in fourth. We lost to the three guys above us. All in all, good war. Looking forward to the next one. Box out. And like how we always finish you guys, remember, clucking is a mindset.